hello guys so today i am going to add another sun in this solar system to see what happens uh, to our solar system if we add another sun in the solar system but uh, i will place it some somewhat here uh, not near the sun because both of them will collapse and make a supernova so let's try and welcome to try labs and in try labs we make different experiments and try things out so let's add another sun and it will be equals the sign of sun si size of sun uh, i'm not going to add stephenson 218 here which is bigger than uh, I think bigger than half of the solar system so we will also try this but today I'm going to add another Sun in the solar system somewhere around here and we will see how how the planets behave so we can add it like orbiting or still uh, I would prefer orbiting we can also launch it we will try this as well but let's make it orbit the sun and see what happens let the venus pass or let's place it in the path of mars okay so we have added another sun and see what's going on over here and everything is just oh the, the both of the suns have attracted each other and they are now revolving around each other and oh our sun has gone away from the sun but I think both of them are dancing together now oh my god what a beautiful scene this is uh, we haven't seen any collapse of planets yet but their path is now changed years have gone long I think S the earth is f uh, the earth is seeing a big ice age you can see India Africa Americas they are in ice because the earth is now far from the Sun planets have been uh, now in a different seasons and different timelines hey what's this we will later look into this what's this object in the space okay so and what is this so both of these stars are now dancing together and Jupiter is also behaving very strange out here their dance is getting closer I think let's see what happens oh what is this it was just it nearly crashed into the Sun I think many uh, big asteroids are crashing as well so this is what's happening around here and we can see it from the farther angle the, st the, the planets that were near the Sun are most affected but the planets that were that were farther away like Uranus, Neptune, Pluto they are not affected so where is Earth? is she gone? where is Earth? here it is oh. this one is Pluto I think in my way Sun Hey sun, where is your earth? Here it is. So earth is still revolving around the sun and it has got a lot of clouds and ice over it. There is like a big ice age over here. You can see. So this is this is what happens if we launch a sun so now I'm going to destroy this solar system by launching the sun 
towards the sun and uh, we will add launch and sun and where we will launch it we will launch over the sun so the sun is heading towards the sun and there it goes the supernova woohoo oh my goodness it's pink and blue supernova sometimes it's uh, a bit cyan and greenish supernova turquoise supernova it's blue and re red supernova oh my god oh my god everything just stuck look at these small asteroids and stellar bodies in the solar system and here the supernova has grown thousands of times of millions of times of the sun and it's still growing and where is our beloved earth i think enjoying different colors of supernova and heat uranus is half burnt over here because it was facing the supernova i think what happens to the saturn saturn is also burnt jupiter is half burnt and yes it's in on fire as well because of the radiations and what about this sun it's wandering inside the supernova because it has lost its path now the path they were both following with each other This is what happens if we add another sun in the solar system or if we add or if we launch a sun towards the solar system. Thank you for watching. We will keep doing these experiments. Uh, if you like, you can subscribe and also share our videos. Uh, we also perform uh, many uh, experiments with the vehicles on Beam and G. You can enjoy them as well. Thank you. Goodbye.